Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, I'm most glad to get the opportunity to meet uh, lovely ones once again. Inshallah, we meet to discuss our golden words. And today, um, as I've already indicated on necessary platforms, that we are going to, we are not going to do poem. We are going to take our golden words from a, an article, a beautiful article. It's philosophical and it has a very beautiful language. It's written by Al Manfuluti, Mustafa Lutfi Al Manfuluti. He was born in, I think, um, somewhere up in Egypt, and a village called Al Manfulut. So that is why Nisbatan uh, Al Manfulut is called Al Manfuluti to show where he is from. It's called Mustafa Lutfi Al Manfuluti. He is popularly known for literature. He is very good with literature, poems and articles, beautiful articles. And he has these books. I think his, his most popular book is um, this one, An Nazarat. I think there are different prints of it. Now there are latest prints of it. This looks very old. This print here is very, very, very old. So you can um, get the latest print of it. It comes in three volumes. Now they've printed it in one. They've made all the three volumes in one book, which is very, very helpful. Okay. So I will start reading from the first article, which is Al Ghad tomorrow. He's talking about tomorrow. So he says, Al Ghad tomorrow. Araftu anni fakkertu laylata ams fima aktubu liyom. Araftu I knew anni fakkertu laylata ams that I thought last night. Laylata ams is last night. I knew that I thought last night. Fima aktubu aliyom. What I would write today. So last night when I was sleeping, or when I was about sleeping, I was thinking about what to write today. Okay, so I know I know about my last night, what I did, and I know of what I plan for today to do today. So he says, "Wa araftu," and I know, or I knew, anni that I, ahizun saata, ahizun asaata, bi qalami bayna anamili, and I knew that I will take up my pen this moment bayna anamili between my fingers anamil is the plural of unmula unmula that is the finger tip so i knew that i was going to take my pen this moment the word one very word i've been so interested in is the word asa whenever we get to it in any of our lessons I almost try to I always try to draw your attention to the fact that asaa can mean clock, the wall clock, asaa can mean watch, asaa can mean hour. H O U R. Asaa can mean the moment. This moment. I can say limaza je teni saa. Why did you come to me this moment? Limaza je teni asaa. Why did you come to me this moment? Asa'a can even mean this minute. So you take note of it. So you look at how he uses it here. He says, وَعَرَفْتُ أَنِّي And I knew that I أَخِذُن Instead of saying, أَرَفْتُ أَنِّي سَأَخُذُ قَلَمِي He said, أَرَفْتُ أَنِّي أَخِذُن This means, he used the noun there. أَخِذُن is someone who is taking something or someone who has taken something from أَخَذَ the file from Ahaza. I knew that I will take at this moment a sa'ata bi qalami my pen. I will take hold of my pen. Baina anamili between my fingertips. Just like I'm doing now. He says, Wa anna baina yadayya. And also I have before me the expression baina yadayya. Bayna yadayya can mean that I have it in my hands. That is the apparent meaning, but mostly not used to mean that. When you hear bayna yadayya, bimana is before me. 
I can say the rest to buy in a day. A Sheikh Sani Wali Allah. I studied with Sheikh Sani Wali Allah. Can say the rest to buy in a day. Ustaz Ahmed Al Mugawiri. Buy in a day doesn't mean that I am in between his hands. No, I studied before him. I studied with him. So buy in a day mostly means before you. Something is before you. Okay. So he says, Wa anna bayna yadayya, and that's before me, sohifatun bayda. Sohifa is a sheet of paper. Sohifa can also mean the journal, the press, what we call newspaper. The newspaper is also sohifa. Like in Ghana here, we have sohifa to Ghanaian Times, we have sohifa to Daily Guide, we have sohifa to um, Daily Graphic, and all that. We have them like that, the graphic. Sohifa actually originally was sheet of paper. So he says, I have, and I knew that I have a piece of paper or a sheet of paper, baydua, plain, white. That is, nothing has been written on it. A4 paper, uh, mine has been written on like, something like this, plain. Sohifa, baydua. I knew that I have a plain sheet of paper. He said, Taswaddu, this sheet of paper, Taswaddu, becomes dark, becomes sauda, black. Qalilan, qalilan, bit by bit. This expression can also be said as shay'an for shay'an. This sheet of paper I have before me keeps becoming dark, bit by bit. Kullama, anytime, I have this plain sheet of paper. Anytime I run my pen through it, this sheet of paper gradually starts looking dark and dark. Okay. So he says, But I, I do not know how to blog the palm هل يبلغ القلم مداه أو يكبو When we say مداه we mean the limit of something He said that he knew that he thought about what he will write today He had thought about it I'm going to write about my school I'm going to write about my life and all that I thought about it last night And today I knew that I would take the pen And start this writing and I had this paper, empty paper, in front of me, which keeps getting dark as I run my pen through it. That is, I keep writing through it and filling it with words. But what I do not know is that will this pen reach its destination? Will it reach its limit? I have started the writing all right. But will I get to the end of the story? I do not know. La kidney, la alamu, hal. Will the pen, I do not know whether the pen will reach its limit or its destination. And he says, Aw yakbu. Yakbu is from the verb keba. Keba means to fall on your face, to tremble. When you are walking and you tremble like that and you fall on your face, we call it keba. Yakbu. That is what we say. So he doesn't know whether the pen will reach its limit or it will fall. Okay, let's see how the pen will fall. He says, Aw yakbu duna gayatahu. Aduna gayatihi. The word duna can mean before you, in front of you. Duna can also mean behind you. Duna can mean below you. And I can also say, do nakel kalam. Do nakel kalam. That is, khuz al kalam. Take the pen. Do nakel al kalam. You call that ismul fain. Now, do na means before. That is before you. It hasn't got into you. Do na can also mean below you. Okay. So I can say, al kalamu, do na al maktab. The pen is below the maktab. The pen is before the maktab. It is the con context that will determine. So let's see our context here. What does he say? He says, 
madam, how yakbu do na gayati will the pen reach its destination or it will fall on its face do na gayati that is it will fall on its face before reaching its destination before so do na here we give it before and he says wahal astatu an utammima risalati hazihi and will I be able to finish this letter of mine? Resale, letter, message. Will I be able to finish it? Aw, ya'taridu aridun min awaridu dahri fi sabiliha. We have words like ya'taridu, verb, which is a'tarada, means to oppose something, to challenge something. And then we have aridun. Aridun can be the one challenging. That is Mu'tarid, somebody who is challenging. Aridun can also be a de cheek, had. It can also mean the cheek. But here, Aridun is something that challenges the smooth movement of something. So he says, Aw, Will I be able to finish this letter? Aw, ya'taridu Aridun min awarid dahri. Or an op opposer among. The awarid do dahar. When we say awarid do dahar, or awarid again, one of its meaning is an emergency situation, an accidental situation. That is awarid. You are going about your normal daily life, and then something just happens. Emergency. It impedes. It causes a stampede in your flow, free flow. So he says he does not know whether he will be able to finish this letter, or. An emergency situation will oppose him. And this emergency situation is among the Awari to Dar. Adar, I've already explained that Adar is time. So among the incidences of time, that is the accidents, the sickness, they are all Awari to Dar. He does not know whether any of them will come in or will set in to oppose his writing of this message. And he says, Li'anni, because I, la a'arifu min shu'uni l'gaddi shay'an, because I do not know anything about the affairs of tomorrow. Shu'uni l'gadd. I do not know anything about the affairs of tomorrow. Wa li'anna al-mustaqbala, and because the future, tomorrow is of part of the future, tomorrow is the future. And because the future, biyadillah. Is in the hands is in the hands of God Almighty. So basically, what Al Monfluti is saying is that he knows what he thought about last night that has passed, and he lives today. He knows he had planned on writing something, and he knows he will pick up the pen. He had picked up the pen. He has started writing all right, but what he does not know is that will the pen reach its destination? Will it reach the last full stop? Or Will he be able to complete this letter? Or something will happen for the pen to fall? Or any of these life emergency situations will just set him and block his free flow of life. And block the free flow of life. He is sending us a message about we submitting to the authority of the Almighty. We do not know the future. Anything can happen. Okay, let's take this short paragraph and then we'll call it a day. He says, عرفت أني لبست أثوابي في الصباح. I know that I wore my dress in the morning. I woke up in the morning and I wore it myself. I know that. وأني لا أزال and then I still ألبسها. I am still wearing it حتى الآن until now. In some of the copies of this book, you will see. وَأَنَّهَا لَا تَزَالُ فَوْقَ جِسْمِي حَتَّى الْآنِ And that the dress is still on top of my body till now. But in the copy I have here, it says, وَأَنِّي لَا أَزَالُ أَلْبَسُهَا حَتَّى الْآنِ And that I know that I am still wearing the dress now. As I'm talking to you now, I know I'm wearing the dress. But, وَلَكِنِّي But I لَا أَعْلَمُ I do not know هَلْ أَخْلَقُهَا Biyadi, will I take it off with my hands? Aw, or takhla'uha yadul ghasili, or the hands of the washer. 
those who wash the dead body will they be the one to remove this dress from my body as i'm talking to you now i do not know until i remove it then i'll say oh i removed it myself but i do not know whatever will happen in the next moment that is what alban fluti is telling us with the yad al ghasili we will take a short verse some short verses of poem from one of these zohud abiyat poems of ascetism he says let me try singing this as it came Wajaa ghasilun fil hina yaghsiluni tilka thiyabu fa'arrani wa qalla'ani wa sara yanzuru fi ma kuntu asturuhu min al-uyub wa ma qad kana fi badani wa qalla'uni qadiman kuntu labithahu wa labathuni jadidan ismuhu al-kafani He says Wajaa ghasilun ghasilun that we just ended with whether he will be the one to remove my dress we just ended with more fluty here yeah. This gasolin he says waja a gasolin fil hina yagsiluni when the washer comes at the time when they are going to wash my dead body tilka thiyab those dresses fa'arani wa qalla'ani he will strip me naked of the dresses and draw me out wa sara yanzuru fi ma kuntu asturu and he will now be having access to see what i used to cover those parts of my body i was covering it will now be open for the washer he says minal oyubi he will now be looking at those things i used to cover minal oyub of flaws the flaws that were with me on my body that i was covering it will be apparent wa ma qad kana fi badani and what was on my body and he says wa qallauni and they will take me out they will strip me off qadiman kuntu labithahu what i was wearing before and they will put on me a new one which is called al kafan the shroud okay so we've polished or we've kind of blessed the article we've studied today with some few abiyat now i will read it very quickly he says al ghad araftu anni fakkartu laylata ams fi ma aktubu al yawm وعرفت اني اخذ الساعه بقلمي بين اناملي وان بين يدي صحيفه وان بين يدي صحيفه بيضاء تسود قليلا قليلا كلما اجريت القلم فيها ولكني لا اعلم ولكني لا اعلم هل يبلغ القلم مداه او يقبو دون غايته وهل استطيع ان اتمم رسالتي هذه او يعترض عارض من عوارض الدهر في سبيلها لاني لا اعرف من شؤون الغد شيئا ولان المستقبل بيد الله عرفت اني لبست اثواب في الصباح واني لا ازال البسها حتى الان ولكني لا اعلم هل اخلعها بيدي aw takhlawha ah yad al ghasili this brings us to the end of our golden words for today i hope we learned a few words and something beneficial i will urge that you get a copy of the book this is the volume one we are taking from you see the number there like that um it comes the numbers are written there is not so clear volume one is there one two three so you can you get a copy of them inshallah as we do them bit by bit you learn a lot of words in here which are very can be very useful in our daily life okay so till we meet again in our next lesson assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh have a good arabic time